studied photography in Bournemouth College of Art uh, many years ago. Graduated in 92. Um, and whilst I was still at college, I did a thing on Somalia, the famine and civil war in Somalia. Um, and I was lucky enough to win a competition with that and I started working for the Sunday Times newspaper. And then, so for the first 15 years or so, I was a, I was a photojournalist and I was just doing assignments, um, working for magazines and newspapers and um, doing stories around the world, sort of, you know, colour stories in America, uh, in Africa, South America, Asia, just general kind of news features and features. When I was at um, art college, I did this um, long six month project on a video game arcade um, and the lives of these sort of 12, 13 year old kids who were hanging out in a car park in a kind of, you know, outside the video game arcade and kind of. <coughs> um, so video games and video game culture was very much kind of always on my radar. Um, but it was just a very difficult thing to, to capture just because a lot of it is about internal things. Um, and I guess the thing that really changed when I did Alter Ego was I figured out a way to kind of, I guess, sort of indicate something about people's fantasy lives in, within that, the context of these games. America is the absolute, um, if you want to get things done and if you have ideas and as a place of ideas and, a, and as a place where people are exploring sort of, you know, creative um, avenues, I, I find it really exciting. It's got kind of the things that I'm sort of thinking about and talking about in a kind of critical sense, but also it's got a huge amount of opportunity. And in fact, my, you know, in these projects that, that I'm doing kind of with alter ego and immersion, <clears throat> I'm not actually trying to say this is all bad because I don't believe that. Nothing is ever like that. You know, I'm trying to explore it in a way that's complex and interesting and trying to keep the complexity of real life in what I'm producing. I know what I want it to be. Listen to the but I think if you do things because you want people to re react, respond to it in a certain way, you're going to be forever disappointed because people react in all sorts of different ways which you can't really predict. I'm not particularly trying to change the world or anything, I'm just sort of, <clears throat> you know, amusing myself.